What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a tweak called Bigify. And I'm also gonna be showing you a tweak called Bigify Plus. And Bigify Plus is actually the paid version of Bigify. But let's go ahead and see what we can get with the free version before I show you what we get with the paid version. So we're just gonna go into the settings here, scroll down to Bigify, and here are your options here. You can change the rotation angle of all of your icons up to 360 degrees. Obviously if you change it to 360 degrees it doesn't change because it's going to do a complete circle. You can also down here change the transparency of the icons as well as hide the icon label. So this is just the name of the icon right under the icon so you can hide those. Also the scale size you can make them bigger or you can make them smaller and if you have trouble trying to actually figure out where the default size was then you can just toggle this on right here. You can also flip the badges and that'll just put the badge on the other side of the icon as well as you can make it affect the dock or not affect the dock. Now actually with uh, this little toggle right here I haven't had a ton of success with it. Uh, usually it's going to affect the dock no matter what but let's just uh, turn it off see see what happens. So let's change up the rotation angle here first. We're just going to move it up just a little bit so this should put it about right on its side. Now here we can uh, change the transparency. So we'll just move it up just a little bit. We'll also hide the icon labels here. And the scale size will make them just a bit smaller. And we're going to, did I hide the icons? Okay, yeah, we're gonna hide the icons. So this is what it looks like to begin with right here. And now let's go ahead and change it up. We're gonna apply the changes and it's going to respring the device. And then once we take a look at this, I'll show you what you get with the paid version. All right, so here we are. We're resprung, and you can see these are completely on their side, right on their points almost, and there are no icon labels. The transparency is there that you can see. Now, this is a little too much uh, rotation for me, and you can see that it still affected the dock. So I haven't had much success with that, like I was saying. It's always going to affect the dock. Uh, but if we jump back into the settings here, the one thing to notice or note about Bigify is you got to guess on all this stuff. You don't really know what it's going to look like. If you change the rotation angle, you basically have to respring in order to see exactly what the rotation is, as well as with transparency and uh, the default, or I'm sorry, the scale size right here. Now, if we go back down here and we look at the, uh, the badges, it actually didn't flip the badge either. It looks like it's still on the same side. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But now let's go ahead and change over to Bigify Plus and I'll show you what that's all about. All right, so now that we have Bigify Plus installed and Bigify Plus was actually updated today in Cydia. So we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna show you all the features as well as the new features. So to start off, we have size. So right up here at the top, you're gonna notice that you have numbers on the right hand side when compared to the free version, you're not gonna have this. So you're not really gonna have a good scale to know exactly where your little uh, slider is right here. But down here as well, you have a preview of what the icons are going to look like. So if you move the scale up or down, you can see that it's changing right there, as well as the rotation. As you slide across, it's going to rotate. And these two, you have a uh, X and Y skew, so you can mess with that as well, if that's something you wanna mess with. And you can change this back to zero if you tap and hold on the number and let go and then you can edit the value. Now this is on a 200 range scale so to actually put it on zero you have to put 100 in. So you can see typing in 100 puts it back at zero. So let's put this back in as well. So now we have a unskewed icon. So going back we have color right here you can apply a hue so if you tap that toggle on then you can mess with the hue slider right here and it changes colors just by sliding just like that. You can also invert the color if you want to do that and get some different colors right there. We're going to not invert the color. Usually when you invert the color you get some crazy themed icon. I mean all your icons look pretty crazy so I'm going to leave the inverted color off. You also have transparency down here that you can slide up and down. Let's change this to a Let's try to get a bluer color. We'll do that color. All right, so let's go back. And here is a new feature added to Bigify Plus today, and that's border. So if you want to put on borders, you can see once you add the border, you can slide these. First, you have to slide the alpha so you can actually see the border. So it's kind of red right there, kind of hard to see. Let's uh, 
change this up just a little bit. We don't want white. Try to get one that you can actually see pretty well. So that kind of fits with the theme that we have going on there. It's a, a light green. Let's change the color of the uh, of the icon just a little bit so the border stands out a little bit more. We'll change it to right about there. All right, so that's basically all you have right here in the borders is the RGB slider as well as the alpha. So let's jump back and go into advanced settings. Here is another new feature in its iOS 6 style icon. So if we tap on that, then you can see down here, it's going to give you the, rather than the flat look, it's gonna give you an iOS 6 style icon. You also have custom layers. So if we toggle that on, then you're going to be able to move these RGB sliders. If you don't, then you're not going to be able to mess with these. So let's toggle that back on. And you can see down there as I move this across, it's changing the color of the icon right down there. So we'll leave it just like that. You also have these uh, blend modes right here and there's a bunch of these to go through. But just to uh, mess with a little bit of these, you can see, well let's not do normal, let's do hard light. It changes it a little bit. Let's move up the alpha just a bit. We'll change this down to color. But you can see it changes it. It's really hard to actually tell uh, what you're changing it to or what the effect is going to be until you actually tap on it and try it out for yourself. You also have textures down here which I'm not a big fan of really. I mean maybe there are some that uh, are good with a certain color but in my opinion I haven't had that much luck with this. I mean there's a leopard one as you can see right there. I mean I'm not I'm not really into that. It's too much going on. The granite one doesn't really look that bad you see it's kind of got like a scratchy, crinkled paper look sort of thing. You can do recessed. So you can see, just add some texture to your icons right there. Let's go with uh, granite. Let's see what that ends up looking like. All right, so let's go back. And here is the example icon. You can actually, actually, I, yeah, skip some. Here is uh, flip badges. So this actually will flip the side of which the badge is on. And I haven't had any luck with this. Turning this on or turning it off, it's always going to be on the right top hand corner. So I'm gonna turn it on just to see if it works this time. It hasn't yet, but we'll see if it does. You also have hide icon label. So this is basically just going to get rid of the name of the icon under the icon. So I'm a big fan of that. Now this toggle right here as well affect the dock. If you have that turned off, it shouldn't affect the dock. But like with the flip badges, it still does every single time. I haven't had any success with this as well. So let's turn it off just to see by chance that it actually works. We'll see uh, if it actually affects the dock or not. So here is where I was just in where you can change the example icon. So I have Cydia set up right now as the example icon. But you can change this up. Let's change it to, let's change it to the Nike one. So now when we go back up here and just look at the... Uh, emblem right there it doesn't look very good I'm not a fan of what this looks like but you can tell that it actually changed from the Cydia icon to the Nike one but let's just go ahead and put it back on Cydia and down here you can save your current preferences if you like the theme that you've made then you can save it just by tapping save current preferences and we'll just uh, save it as save two so we'll save that and then right here is going to be all of your saved preferences as well as some of the preferences that came with the tweak like boulder, contrast, jaguar, and tile. Now I messed with some of these, wasn't a fan of them. Uh, I'll show you what contrast looks like. And we'll go back. So you can see, I mean the contrast one is probably my favorite one as you can see. It just makes everything a little more uh, vibrant and the contrast is up really high. But if we change it to Let's go to Jaguar. You guys are going to love this one. It's fantastic. <laughs> you can see right there. I mean, it's like a rainbow colored Jaguar theme. I don't know what's going on with it. But uh, let's, let's go back to ours, our ugly uh, theme we got going on here. So this is what all the icons are going to look like. So just to show you guys, this is what it looks like right now. And let's go ahead and apply the changes and it's going to respring the device and once it respring's then we can see this awesome theme that we've created so let's slide to unlock and there is our awesome theme can hardly tell what anything is now the, there's a glitch here obviously with the clock app so 
that for some reason it doesn't theme all the time. Sometimes it will uh, put something on there, but this time it doesn't look like it did anything other than the border. Also, we tried to not affect the dock, and it still affected the dock. And we tried to flip the badge uh, location, and it still stayed on the right top hand corner. So just keep that in mind that those two things are not working at this time. I've tried this on the iPhone 5 as well as the 5S. It doesn't work on either of them. But still, if you have a creative uh, mind and you can make some cool themes, then you definitely should try out Bigify Plus. Let's go ahead and do the, uh, the contrast just to show you what a saved one looks like. This is probably my favorite uh, look out of all of them, but I'll let you be the judge. All right, so here it is. And you can tell that the contrast is just really high. Now, I mean, this actually looks the best out of anything that I've created. I've messed with this quite a bit, actually. And uh, to no success, I haven't found anything that I've been able to make that I've enjoyed what it looked like. But the contrast actually looks pretty decent, or the best out of all the other ones, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, let me know which tweak you think you're going to get, the free version or the Bigify Plus version. Let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. If you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time, peace.